While setting up UCNC, I had a little bit of difficulty in understanding how to set up the Xbox plug-in. If you want to use one of these little bad boys whilst controlling one of these fellas, you're going to have to set up the plug-in that comes standard with the UCNC software. So let's go about just having a look at a quick setup. I'll show you exactly what my settings are and what each function does. First step is to go to your settings tab and down here we've got configure plugins. So click on that, it'll bring up a window here with your plugins that are actually standard with the UCNC software. Go ahead and look for Xbox 360 controller, come across and press show. Here are my basic settings for my Xbox controller. Take note of these. Put those numbers in exactly as they are. Whilst we've got the plug-in window open here, I should probably just point out here what this down call code and up call code means. Now your down call code is there, listed through there. When, when you press select, you can choose what that function is. Now, the function is designated by a number. So my button zero down call code is 128, that's cycle start. So when I push the button, it goes cycle start and it has an up call code of zero which is a no function so it just does a cycle start now with your axis control and that you need a down call code to make the axis jog but you also need an up call code to tell it to stop jogging so that's what your up call code is is the function when the button is not pushed what it does just thought i'd point that out just take note that while you are on this screen and that window is open, make sure that it says gamepad is connected. Once you've got your numbers input into those fields, make sure you then press apply settings and save settings. And you can close that window. Come down here, make sure that the uh, Xbox 360 controller is checked for enabled. Now that means that when you start your software, that plugin will load up and be enabled. Okay, so let's run through a few of the functions that are set up in that plugin. A, the green button here, is cycle start. B, is cycle stop. Y, is feed hold. So you can toggle that one, you press feed hold, the machine will stop its motion. You press it again and it will continue on. X is reset. So this button here, when you push down on this button here, is rewind. And then you've got your axis movement. So your Z axis is controlled via these two upper buttons here. Z up and Z down. Up, down. The other two buttons that are beside your Xbox button there is your feed override up and down. You see it moving there. When you're uh, part way through your code, you can rewind your code. So let's say you're all the way down here. There is this function down here that says rewind. Now we can do that simply by pushing down on this button here. Just like, rewinds to the start. So I hope I've managed to help somebody today set up their Xbox 360 control with UCNC. Uh, it can be a bit of a daunting task if you've never done it before, so I hope that these basic settings can speed up the process for you and get you going a lot quicker. Just bear in mind, this is the way I prefer to set my machine up. You can set it up however you like.